What's going on guys? Welcome to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot and new things going on within the Coastal community. And today we're going to be talking about three different topics. One regarding, obviously, you saw from the title, uh, Crypt has now been officially removed. Well, it hasn't been fully removed yet, but Kingsman did announce that. Uh, the second thing we're going to be talking about is Grain and Grill. That's going to be the new restaurant coming to uh, the park, uh, replacing Panda Express. So yeah, that's getting also removed. And... Uh, last but not least, we're going to be talking about Pantheon uh, because today was media day. I'm recording this on January 23rd at around 5.40 p.m., 5.49 p.m. Um, they just announced this from King's Dominion, though. Uh, they just created a blog. It was about 3 o'clock. They have finally made a video. So I'll go ahead and let you all look at that first. <laughs> So as you all saw, they said there's things lurking in the jungle at the end of that. Uh, they're teasing. So teasing has already started because they don't have anything else better to do. Um, and it makes sense why they're teasing now because right now they, they're, they're in a predicament right now. They're in probably the worst and best predicament possible. This gives them the option to either go big or they're going to have to go home. I'm almost certain that if this next part doesn't work, I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm telling you guys, if they do another kid expansion, well, Bush Gardens is officially going to be my new home park. <laughs> so, but seriously, let's go ahead and take a look at the blog really quick. Nope, no special haunt announcements yet. Today we have some news to share regarding one of our thrill attractions, the Crypt in Safari Village. Originally named Tomb Raider, the Crypt debuted in 2005 and has given nearly 4 million riders a wicked spin through the years. And now it's time to seal the crypt for good. Why, like many decisions, removing crypt is about improving guest experience, and in this case, even future adventures for our guests. While we aren't ready to say what that means, get ready, things are lurking in the jungle. So obviously, like I said, teasing, I guess you can say it is officially started for 2021. Like I said, we're going to probably see footers probably in like August. Um, it'll be no surprise. The announcement's going to obviously be around that time. And honestly, I'm I'm really interested in seeing where they're going to go with this and what the name and whatnot is going to be. Uh, are they actually going to heavily theme it like most of the Cedar Fair rides now? Because Copperhead Strike, they did a phenomenal job with the theming down there. I love the shed or like the farm aspect of it, as well as like the copper and whatnot. It just looks so good. With that being said, though, I really hope there's some theming to this ride and hopefully they get it right. But it is official now that Crip will be removed from King's Dominion prior to the 2020 season. I don't think this one will take long to get out. I don't know if they're honestly going to start removing it before we even can get into the park and see. Um, my guess is that they are because when the season started, they were already removing parts for Volcano like early as like April. Now moving on to the new restaurant, it's going to be called Grain and Grill. This is going to take the place of Panda Express. We'll go ahead and take a look at the blog now and see what they're saying. So this was made, this blog was posted on January 17th, 2020. And this is Maggie Sellers who's typed all this stuff up. So she said, one of my favorite parts of gearing up for the new season is hearing about all the exciting changes in our food department. What can I say? I'm a foodie. This year, our culinary team is pulling out all the stops. So to start off, we're introducing a brand new dining experience coming to International Street. Meet Grain and Grill. This international grill style restaurant will feature seasonal locally sourced ingredients. As part of your all season dining plan, you can find Grain and Grill on International Street where Panda Express stood. The building is getting a full refresh, including updates to the patio to feature a full service bar complete with your favorite craft beer, ciders, wines, and cocktails. And we're proud to be able to offer a location that can easily cater to many dietary needs, gluten-free, that's a no-grainer. Low-carb, sweet. Keto, you got it. Paleo, yep. At Grain and Grill, you'll get your choice of protein in two sides. Think fresh, grilled, mouth-watering meats and sides, ranging from grain salads and roasted veggies to even a couple of healthy twists on comfort food items. In total, there are a hundred of different meal combinations. Best part, all options are part of the dining plan. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I don't like the name of it. I think it sounds 
like grain and grill what is what do you guys think when you hear that i don't know it, to me it just doesn't sound appetizing i like if they just could have called it like the grill i think that would have been cool too um i get it though because the grain part they're trying to be more healthy and whatnot I just feel like they could have came up with another name, but it's something simple and simple is fine too. Honestly, they could have just called it Simple Grill. Just saying, just saying. Um, anyways though, I do think I'm glad that they're getting another food option because this is something they need and Panda Express food, it, it wasn't the best. It was great sometimes and other times it was like, okay. So I don't know if they're going to honestly move that to another area in the park and just have it as a smaller location or what they're going to do with that. but. I'm excited to see what it looks like. I think it's going to be a nice addition for the food option because we need more food options at these parks. It's going to be nice to use that on the dining plan because that's honestly all I go to Kings Dominion for is the dining plan. And really, I go there to ride Intimidator and get a couple rides on Twisted Timbers and I'm out. We'll go ahead and talk about Pantheon really quick. So they just had their media day literally today and it was around like maybe 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, they started off early. It was still kind of dreary outside, had a little bit of fog, but it made for the pictures to come out very well. Like the track looks amazing. I can't wait to ride this thing. It looks awesome. Uh, the elements, everything about this ride, the fact that it goes 73 miles per hour now, uh, just everything, the inversions. Even though I don't get invited to these media days, I still have my ways of getting the content that I need. You already know that. I can't wait to get the POV. That's the best part about which gardens are really Sea World Entertainment. They allow you to film the rides and whatnot. I can't wait to share my experiences with you guys. I hope you all did enjoy the video. This one was really quick. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and enable post notifications to stay up to date with everything that is happening on the channel. And until next time, you guys, peace out. Enjoy your life.